I'm Stuart Collins and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. I think it's really important when you cook a vegetarian dish to make sure it feels at the same sort of love and care and attention that we'd put into a meat and fish dish. We're trying to get as much flavour into the mushroom, making sure it stands up against the meat and fish dish. The food we do here at Docket is a real sort of combination of my travels around and where I've worked. In different dishes you'll see different spicing and stuff and maybe that's from, from the Middle East. But that is also I think what's wonderful about modern British cuisine because it is all encompassing. Hi, I'm Stuart Collins and we're at Docket Restaurant here in Whitchurch. Today I'm going to cook a roasted king oyster mushroom glazed in some white soy sauce with a truffled goat's curd and a wonderful stout reduction. So the first step, we're going to get the pickling liquid on for the artichoke. So in here we've got the sherry vinegar, local dark ale, some thyme, juniper, the dark brown sugar and a little pinch of salt. So we'll bring that up to a simmer and then we'll add the artichoke. So the next step, we've got some beautiful uh, Jerusalem artichokes. So I've just quickly peeled these down and we're going to cut these into a small dice. Jerusalem artichoke for me has got that wonderful earthy flavour about it and it takes on the pickle, those sort of earthy tones of the stout, together with the mushroom. They're almost that sort of ground level ingredients, all those sort of, you know, you imagine them sort of low level ingredients. Brilliant alternative to a potato or something similar. So for me, using pickle on, on dishes is a fantastic way of bringing some balance to a dish and you, know, you get that texture as well. So the Jerusalem artichoke on here is lightly pickled, so you've still got a slight crunch and it brings that lovely sort of sweet and sour against the dairy and the richness of the mushroom. So the pickle liquid has come up to a simmer. So we've got the uh, beautiful juniper and the thymes infusing into the liquid. We're going to add in the Jerusalem artichoke dice, bring that back to a boil and just simmer it for about a minute. So these have now sort of lost that initial rawness and that can now cool down in the liquid to end up with a beautiful pickled artichoke. So the next step we're going to move on to is a beautiful king oyster mushrooms. We're just going to trim the, the end off of it ever so slightly just so it fits on the plate. So the king oyster mushroom is a fantastic sponge. So all the aromatics that we put into the pan as we cook it, we're going to soak it up. This dish is currently on in the restaurant and it's the one that catches out most guests. I guess they think it might be slightly underwhelming, it's a mushroom course, but then when they eat it and they get all those flavours and the texture and it is meaty in itself, it really changes their, their opinion. So it's almost quite fun to serve it and then go and talk to the guests because it's the one that they least expect to be so good. So the scoring in the mushroom just helps to open the mushroom up and then when it cooks you get this different caramelisation on, on the crisscross and then it will soak up all those flavours, just really helps it to sort of get inside. You know, it's quite a meaty, dense mushroom, so we just help it open up slightly. We've got a nice hot pan. We're gonna add in some vegetable oil, and then we're gonna go face down with the mushrooms into the pan. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of seasoning to get them going. So we've got a small amount of salt and a little bit of white pepper, and then we turn them straight onto the heat. They're gonna cook on the stove for a couple of minutes. Just get that lovely golden color when we turn the mushroom. So mushrooms have been on for about a minute and we just start to see them becoming nice and golden. Turn them over back onto the stove to continue cooking for about another minute. Getting colour on a mushroom is really key. You know, if the pan's not hot enough or we turn it over too, too, too quick, it ends up just being a little bit blonde. So we want to get that nice little note of caramelised mushroom in there. Again, when we add the soy, it really just all comes together. Now I'm going to add some butter, get that foaming up. We're going to go in with some thyme and some garlic as well. So you can hear the thyme pop in as it, that sort of infuses into the butter. We're going to go back onto the heat. Okay. We're really managing the temperature of the butter. We don't want to burn it. You can see now the mushroom just gently starting to soften. And that, and that butter is beautiful and golden. So, beautiful mushrooms. And what we're going to do is add the white soy and they'll start to soak up all, those, all the flavours now. So the white soy is a slightly lighter flavour. It's not too sticky, it doesn't caramelise like a dark soy would. So you sort of get the best of both worlds. So the mushrooms have been sat in the liquid now for a couple of minutes and they've soaked up all that flavour. You see the beautiful golden colour. Resting the mushroom is really important and allowing that cooking process to go through right to the middle, just soaking up that flavour. We want as much of it inside as we can. So the next component for the dish is the truffle goat's curd. So we've got the goat's curd in here, lemon juice on top. We're going to add the cream cheese. So this is just softened at room temperature. And then last but not least, is some white truffle oil. 
So everything at room temperature just helps it bind together. Really simple, but this is what brings the acidity to the dish and that additional richness. Let's go into a piping bag. Um, we've got a small little nozzle in the end just to help the shape on the plate. So for plating up, we've got a hazelnut crumb that I've made before. So this is a little panko breadcrumb, some roasted hazelnuts. We just drop it in a blender and this just brings you know, another texture to the dish. A wonderful chive oil, so fresh chives into the blender with some oil and then we, we strain it and pass it through uh, a fine uh, muslin cloth. And then what we've got here is a reduction of the cooking liquid from the pickled artichoke. So I'm just gonna remove some of the artichokes from the pickled liquid. So for the plate up, we've got the truffle goat's curd. That brings that lovely, rich, decadent dairy uh, element to the dish. We've got a wonderful pickled artichoke on top. That's gonna be topped with a hazelnut crumb. Again, this is for me, it's all about the seasons. and It should reflect where we are. So we've got those golds coming in, that sort of caramelization. It seems fitting in the dining room at this time. So we've got the lovely uh, reduction the stout reduction, drizzle that on. Wonderful chive oil. And we're gonna finish this with a beautiful soy braised mushroom. And so to finish in touch, we've just got some wonderful uh, baby watercress shoots. They just help to bring uh, a little bit of color to the dish, but equally, you know, that wonderful peppery flavor. And there we are, the roasted king oyster mushroom, truffle goat's curd, and stout reduction.